Okay guys, so I decided to make this video because a lot of you out there play clans and a lot of you know how to play clans and just are really good at it. But I can guarantee you, you don't know all these 15 tips. So I just decided to make 15 tips, 15 that I know about, that I used some of your comments because you guys always comment on my videos, a lot of useful stuff. And just a lot of things that are really useful in clans that you guys probably don't know about that will make you a better player. So I cannot guarantee that you don't know any of these 15 tips. You probably know at least one, two, maybe some more. But I will guarantee you, you don't know 15. All those 15. Because I didn't even know 15. So let's jump right into this. Starting off with tip number one. Night vision is your time. Yes, you're probably wondering what does that mean. Well, whenever you defeat a boss in clans, a nether portal spawns for 10 minutes. You can then enter that portal and you have 10 minutes of access to the nether and after those 10 minutes you will be teleported to the shops. So when do you know when the 10 minutes is over? Well, you can very easily see that by pressing E. Yes. Just look at your night vision time and that's basically the time you have left. It doesn't matter where you join, when you join, how and whatever. If you just join the nether, it will display the correct time. So you can very easily see the time. Okay, the second tip is rune colors. Yes, every rune has a color. Red, green or blue. Red runes are for swords and axes. Blue runes are for bows. And green runes are for armor. That's basically it. It's very simple. Okay, so tip number three is a very important tip. Prepare for boss battles. If you're ever planning on going to a boss battle, make sure you are prepared. I suggest you bring rangers with you because they can deal a lot of damage on distance and bring some tanks with you to the distract the bosses because they can deal a lot of damage. You need to bring a lot of arrows with you. If you want to do this with not that much players, bring a lot of arrows with you. And mushroom soup is also very important. Bring a lot of soup with you. Moving on to tip number four, which is also a really important tip. Always use soups. I just see so much players not using soup during battles or wars. But it is so important because one soup can heal you for two and a half hearts over the course of three seconds. That is quite a lot and it is really useful. And because it can really change the outcome of a battle. Tip number five is a very useful tip if you use a lot of soup. And it's basically stacking soups. You can purchase soups in a stack. And since soups are not stackable, this is really useful. You can just simply go to the organic shop, uh, dude, villager, NPC, guy, whatever, and just purchase one stack of soup. It will just go into the inventory and it will only take up one inventory space. It's very simple and very useful. Let's move on to tip number 6, which are two really useful commands that I think most of you know about, but I often see... People will just start off with clans and are not that good and they are typing in the chat I am stuck I don't know what to do how do I get out well you can of course type slash kill but you will lose your stuff like for example if you're stuck in somebody's mode in your neighbor's clan and they have a really deep mode which you can't get out of and you type slash kill and all the stuff goes into the hoppers and they get stuff of course you don't want that so there are two very simple commands to get out of a sticky situation where you get stuck in a mode for example so the first one is slash C home. You can use this everywhere. Um, even if you are at the boss fight, if you're in the nether, wherever you are, just type slash C home and it will take 15 seconds for you to be teleported to your home, to your bed. Um, if you don't have a bed, then you have to use this second command, which is slash C stuck. This takes two minutes and you can only use that in enemy territory and you will be teleported to the wilderness. Yes, two minutes. It's a long time, but that's better than slash kill. Tip number 7 is kill mobs. This might sound really stupid, but it's actually really useful. Except for the zombies because they drop bones and rotten flesh, which are worth not that much. But skeletons, they drop a certain amount of arrows. I believe it's 7, might be 8, something around that number. And you can sell arrows for 2 apiece and they cost 10 apiece. So you basically get 70 gold if you kill a skeleton and they also drop bones. So this is just really useful, especially if you're going to a boss fight and you need a lot of arrows, you can just kill skeletons because they drop quite a good amount. 
Then there are creepers. If you kill those, they drop a pretty big amount of coal. I think it's like 16 coal or something. You can sell coal for 10 apiece. That is 160 gold just from killing a creeper. Spiders are also a really useful mob to kill. They drop bones, which aren't that useful, but they drop spider eyes, which you can sell for 5 gold. That's not that much, but it is still something. And they also drop webs, which is useful in combat. Some people use it. I personally don't, but that's up to you. They drop 3 webs when you kill them, and you can just use them like a web. Just left click them, and you will throw them. And people can get stuck in those, so you can easily kill them. Tip number 8 is a very simple trick. If you are an assassin and you fall into a moat, and if the moat is filled with water, you can simply hug the wall and flash or blink out. So you can very easily get out of moats if they are not that deep. Tip number 9 is build your base out of stone bricks. It is most likely the best block you can get in clans. So if you fire TNT at stone bricks, it will turn into cracked stone bricks. And if you fire TNT at cracked stone bricks, it will destroy it. So you basically need 2 TNT to get through one wall. Tip number 10 is mine cobblestone. Cobblestone is probably the most valuable block in clans because it is really easy to get and it is worth 20 per block. That is pretty big amount for such a common block because you can find it literally everywhere underground. So if you're ever bored and you have nothing to do but you are really poor, just go and mine cobble because you can get an insane amount of money. Moving on to tip number 11, which is wooden doors are iron doors. This might sound weird, but I will explain what I mean. Because if you want to craft a wooden door in clans, it will automatically turn into a iron door. So if you're ever running low on iron, just use wood and you can easily get an iron door. So a lot of you probably know tip number 12, but I wanted to bring it up anyways, because it's pretty useful. Because you can simply repair your swords axes bows and any type of armor with anvils so i didn't know about tip 13 until somebody in the comments said that you can craft weapons with blocks this is actually pretty useful so you can basically make blocks of diamonds or block of gold and you can then craft power swords power axes booster swords or booster axes just doing the standard recipes for the tools and weapons and instead of the ores you use the blocks this is actually really useful because you can't use the standard recipes. We are almost there guys. Tip number 14 which has also to do with crafting. Yes, you can craft armor. A lot of people don't know about this. I never see my clanmates do it. And a lot of people just think that ores are useless. The only thing they are useful for is to sell them. But no, you can craft armor. You can just craft any type of armor except for the ranger gear because that's chain. Just by using the standard ore recipes. And leather for leather armor, diamond for diamond armor, gold for gold armor and iron for iron armor. It's just really simple. Here we are guys, tip number 15. So this tip is for the people with a moat outside their base. And if you have a moat and you have water in it to prevent assassins from escaping, we'll now know the tip that you can hack the wall and escape. You can simply place fence gates. If you place fence gates above your moat, assassins won't be able to flash or blink out of there. So if you want an inescapable moat, just place fence gates and water. And that's basically it for this video guys, 15 clans tips to make you a better clans player. I hope you learned something, you probably did because I didn't even know all these 15 tips. So you probably didn't either. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did leave a like and subscribe to see more of this stuff. And I will see you all next time, goodbye.